Welcome to I on Reno, the television show in the know, presenting information of interest to our viewers and the community. Our guest this morning is Matthew Greiner, a financial advisor. In his spare time, he fishes and climbs mountains. <coughs> Recently, a friend attended his seminar Understanding Retirement Strategies. Thank you, Matthew, for being on the program. Thank you, Dwayne, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Are you with a company right now? I'm with many companies. I'm glad you asked. I'm what you call an independent financial advisor. So I do business under my own name, which is called the Griner Group, and I represent many different companies. Why did you become a financial advisor? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. I didn't want to become a financial advisor in the very beginning. In fact, it's actually come something that runs in my family. My dad's been in this business for more than 40 years. And I started out my career path as a financial analyst and was an analyzing investments. I liked it in the beginning, but I didn't like it after a certain point. It became very mundane, became very boring. And I was just lacking people interaction. My father would always come home and he always had a, a smile on his face. He was able to work with individuals and, and help them with putting together strong financial plans. And I said, you know what? I think I probably want to follow in dad's steps and follow in that path. And that's kind of how I got into it. Would you say the communication <coughs> with clients is something you value highly? I do. One thing that I like about working with individuals, it's, it's different. It's every person has their own unique story. It's something personal about them. And you never, there's no two people that are alike in this world, I'll tell you that much. And I've met all types of people working, at the, working with them. It's, it's a lot of fun. And you like to do seminars. Yes, yes. I've always been of the opinion if I could speak to a lot of people at one point in time and say, this is what I stand for, this is how I think you probably should invest your money, and talk to 30 of them at one point in time, give one good solid sales pitch, and at the very end of that presentation, if they like what I have to say, then great, let's set up and have an appointment. If you don't like it, you're not going to hurt my feelings. We can agree to disagree and we can move on. Well, how did you develop your communication skills? That's another good question, Dwayne. I'm glad you asked. I learned how to do public speaking through Toastmasters. I had never been really a public speaker before that, and I was actually invited. When I got into the industry, I started out with a company called Edward Jones. A colleague of mine there invited me to Toastmasters. Best thing I ever did in my entire life. Transformed everything and how I do business and how I communicate, and one of the best things ever. Uh, could you give us, uh, give us the viewers uh, an idea of a specific example of how Toastmasters has really helped you? Yes, yes. In, in my seminars, it's, I have about 30 to 35 people in attendance. And what I do is I send out a mailer to about 5,000 people at a time. And I want to get about a little, about 1% return on that. So 70 people, about 5%, about 50 get to get about 50 people in the room, two rooms, 25 each. And when I do that speech right there, I'm talking about all types of things. I'm talking about the financial markets. I'm talking about my family history, where I come from. I'm talking a little bit how I got into the business, like what you just asked me here. And I also talk about, like, what do the experts say? And they'll ask, they'll let, they might be having a question, like, who are the experts? And I'll say, well, the experts are the ones that are on TV. People like Susie Orman, people like, um, Mad money, these are the experts. And what do they say about the stock market? What do they say about investing? And I say, you know what? This is what they say. They say diversify your money. They say paying fees is normal. Everyone loses money sometimes. And a few other things like that. I said, you know what? That's not entirely true. Those are not true. And I would like to just open your mind. I throw this little thing out there. I ask them a question. Everyone familiar with a stop sign? And are you familiar with a stop sign, Dwayne? There are many stop signs in my neighborhood. There are. So I show this thing at my seminar, and I say, this is a stop sign, ladies and gentlemen. This became the federal center in the 70s. This is a federally mandated sign, and I ask, can it, and actually in this audience here, how many signs are on this? 
Eight. Eight sides, right? What color is it? Red. It's red. The other sign that we're very familiar with is a railroad crossing sign. And the railroad crossing sign that's got the double X like this, what do you do when you come to a, a railroad crossing sign? Stop. You stop. You look both ways, make sure there's no train, because you're not going to win that battle. <laughs> we're all familiar with that one right there. What's the other, side, the other sign that's out there? Yield sign, right? Everybody know what a yield sign is? Yeah. What color is a yield sign? Yellow. It's yellow. Everyone always answers yellow. But you know what, Dwayne? The yield sign is not yellow, ladies and gentlemen. The thing is, all I hope to do in this seminar is just open up your minds to share some information with you. Some of the things you've been told are simply just not true. And I want to help you break past the conventional wisdom, help you understand some alternatives, and if what I, make, what I say tonight, it makes sense, then set up an appointment with me. If it doesn't make sense, enjoy your meal. It's a great steak. It's a great salmon. And thank you for coming. Drive home safe. Well, we're beginning to run short of time. Could you, for our benefit of the listeners, could you tell us when you're, where and when your next seminar will take place? Yeah, the next seminar I'm going to be doing will be in June, second week. And I can't give you the exact days. I forgot that right at the top of my head. But I usually do it at the Twisted Fork. I'll offer steak dinner, salmon dinner, or a pasta dish. My guest. I pay for the whole meal. Well, thank you very much, Matthew, for being on the program. Thank you, Dwayne. And keep your eye on Reno. <laughs>